Happy Friday. Oh, let me turn this around, maybe. Try this real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Happy Friday, YouTubers. Um, going to be adding an Instagram video tonight. Pretty much all the paper mache videos are going to be here on YouTube. So today, I'm going to show you this 4-inch vase that I'm making out of paper mache. Um, it's a little bit of an abstract because many of them are going to be different patterns. And let me turn this one around and show you guys. Oh, it's got an opening. You're going to be able to add things to it. Um, the inspiration I got was uh, seeing some of the handmade ceramic eggs in Italy. They had a smooth edge. And it would be a big egg, typically about 8 inches tall, handmade, hand-painted in Italy. I think they still make them over there. Very, very good quality uh, workmanship. Now that's why I decided to leave the opening here. And this uh, has many different themes. You can add little figurines in there. You can add LED lighting in there. You can add appliques to the side if you want. You can add gold leaf on this. So you could either just use it as is, as a beautiful home decor uh, vase, <clears throat> an open vase, or you can add stuff to it. Um, I'm going to be selling these for $25 each. I could sell them for more, but that's a decision I've made. Now, there will be other vases far more with far more complex workmanship. And those will go 30 40 50 75 150 dollars depending on the workmanship the detail materials used so if we're using real silver real gold in the vases you could be certain we're going to be charging much more money okay um in this video i do not have someone to hold my cell phone so that i can show you i'm flipping this so I'm going to probably put the cell phone down really quick. I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I, think I want to get this onto this surface. I want the bottom part to be on this pan. I might just do it like you flip the pancake. I don't know if it's a good idea to do it one-handed. Oh, you know what I can do? I can put this over. Now, if you notice, I, kept the, I use new foil because it's flat. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat for this one because it's not, you saw the design is very rough. And by the way, this is a vintage, uh, true to my vintage collecting uh, nature. This is a Revereware uh, pan. And by the way, I didn't know it for many years until this year, actually, and I've owned these for many, many, many years. Some of these pans are over 40, 50 years old, about that age. The handles are made of Bakelite, these black handles. I did not know that. So if your, if your Revereware pan doesn't work properly, save the Bakelite handles. They, they're very hard to find, and there are repairmen that repair Revereware uh, pots and pans, and there's a shortage of these Bakelite handles. I use mine to cook. And uh, once in a while for my non-toxic clay work. This actually just sits right there, so I'm going to put the cell phone down real fast. Point it up to the ceiling. I'll keep talking so you know I'm not abandoning you. And hopefully, um, nope, you know what? i got to put it down. It's not going to work that way. Well, the foil is sticking to the bottom, which is good. So what I'm doing is I'm flipping it right now as we speak. And, oh boy. Some of the moisture just came out. I do happen to have... I forgot that this was... Uh, I just made this last night. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to get you guys back on video. Okay, here we go. I flipped it over and I forgot that these things can have a lot of water come out. <clears throat> but I had some... Uh, paper to absorb it so 
Too bad you guys didn't get to see that in the video. I'm getting my, uh, I have a, what do you call this thing? I'm very bad with all this technology, everybody. I don't do, uh, what do they call that stuff? Live stream, uh, FaceTime, something, I think it's Face Stream, FaceTime, live apps, live me, live this, live that. I'm going to start doing it though, and I got something from a thrift store that, uh, it's like a camera, you hook it up to your laptop, and it, you can record yourself. Uh, Logitech. I've, I don't know what they call it, but well, I do know it puts you on camera because I installed the software. And uh, in fact, I'm going to pull it out right now. If anyone is watching the video, I know I'm new on YouTube. Let me show you this thing. Oh, I think it's called a webcam. I bought this thing for like three or four bucks. The quality is not very good, but uh, it will do the job. So, oh, let me uh, release the Kraken. Yeah. That's the inside. It's a big mess right now. So what I got to do is remove the, the glass before it dries solid. I use the glass as a frame. So I got some work to do right now. All right, everybody. And then I'm going to take a blow dryer and blow dry this, but it still has to air dry overnight. I'll talk to you soon, and uh, the next video will may even be showing you this vase later on this evening. And uh, again, oh, let me show you the pattern here. It's an abstract pattern. You can make adjustments. Like, I'm going to obviously make some adjustments here, flatten this out a little, and that'll be the opening right there. Okay? And uh, the bottom is down there, obviously. And I might just leave the uh, aluminum foil in there until it dries. I'm not sure. I'm new to all this. I'm learning as we go. But this is a four inch tall vase. And it's four inches from here to here. I didn't do that. That was just coincidence that it came out that way. So I'm really happy and excited about this. And the next one I'm looking to do is like an orangey reddish uh, type uh, thing. So, uh, an orange-reddish type vase, maybe like a metallic color with, you know, swirls in it. Um, and again, not very expensive at all, $25 each. And uh, for the four-inch vases, they are handmade. I hand-mix personally make the uh, mixture. And uh, I can do even letters in there, you know, but... Uh, for this type of design, I don't think this really be a good idea. You know, maybe I'll get into customization. All right, I'm going to get to work on this because it's uh, calling, begging for attention. Happy, f oh, uh, shoe with gee whiz, sugar, as they say in uh, plain language. I wanted to show you guys one of the eggs. This is not finished yet, but uh, it's dry now. You can see it's completely dry. That Let me see if I hold it to light. It's like a really white, bright white. That's what you that's what you want when it dries. And I also got to show you the leaf. This is dry. See that? You just have to be patient. Do not paint over the leaf until it's fully dry. Okay? This one, um, I'm gonna paint green. Yeah. Because it's an apple leaf, and it's supposed to be for the ladybug display. And I gotta actually make today. I'm gonna make uh, about five of these. And these are actually about hmm. I think these are about four or five inches. Um, I'm gonna be making bigger ones. Um, let's see. Oh, this one's yeah five inches. Well, these are gonna go for five bucks each. Uh, they're not going to be terribly expensive, the five-inch ones. If I make them wider or bigger, it's going to cost more. Maybe Not much more, though. But I'm going to make about uh, just five of these for the market and uh, paint them green. I'm not going to go crazy in, you know, detail. These have a, They have a rough uh, antique type of look, which I really like. 
and I mm, really should sign it on the back. Mm, I don't know. Well, if I had a, if you want a liner on the bottom, I can do that, but the price is going to go up. I'm going to paint the bottom. I'm going to leave this the way it is. And then I think it'll be $2 more if you want that, like, felty, smooth thing on the bottom, glued to the bottom. I'll give them two options. Give you guys two options. I got to make a little money off of this stuff. The eggs are going to go anywhere from, if you want a regular white egg, geez, just this way, quite frankly. Same thing. There is work that goes into this $25 for regular egg. If I have to paint it, not that I, I make it sound like it's a problem, but it's really not. I love this stuff. If, well, let me put it this way. I'll be making about 30 of those eggs. When I paint some of them, you're going to see the craftsmanship is like really highly detailed. Those are going to be $75 to $150. I may even use harder to find vintage uh, jewelry parts, uh, you know, rhinestones, crystals, gems. Later on down the road is more of these seller if I get uh, good financial backing or just a good financial model going here. We could definitely use real diamonds, platinum, silver. You know, I get a goldsmith involved. And then the world is uh, ours. It is ours now, but you have a, the world will be ours with a little extra happiness involved. All right, everybody. That's the story for today. And, uh, oh, it's Friday. Lola the ladybug says hi. Lola says, give me some eyes and a smiley face. Because you've been saying for three days you're going to give me one. And there's a defect right there. I might just get rid of this black dot. It has to be consistent. And I didn't know exactly where I was going to put the uh, head. All right, Lola, go over there and eat some of those aphids. Lola, uh, ladybugs eat aphids. A I think it's spelled A P H. IDS. Then they lay the eggs in the aphids when they when winter comes. And then when they hatch in the spring, the ladybugs are born and they start eating the aphids, the mites. They're very good for the environment. Don't kill them with the pesticides. All right. Bye-bye. Ciao.